Hello my dear friends, I am DGV Vishal going to present a tutorial in Photoshop that is explosion effect. Just follow me and learn how you can be master in this. Just zoom it to 100% control plus one, one sorry control plus one four hundred percent zoom okay control plus one just select select marquee tool and then start selection keep selected this add, add to selection from option bar and just start this selecting We selected this now what we are going to do next is just make a new blank layer here and just from background from the selection copy content just from copy you can also do or control plus C just copy it and from in this layer control plus B or paste from there edit menu okay we have uh, we have pasted those selected content in this layer now we will make three layer of this by copying this just moving from there to there okay in first layer just make this invisible in first layer we are going to double click and bevel and emboss we will use here 100 percent change this to one this is uh, 75 75 don't change anything else and one okay we got bevel and emboss in first layer now what we are going to do is uh, just this copy take down this to the uppermost this first layer is our the uppermost layer and on the innermost layer in this th first layer here, here layer just double click and here we will use color overlay okay, sorry I am searching this in color overlay we will use black color ok our black color is filled in that area it's not fully black but it's black okay mm, now thirdly uh, in this layer we have mm, bevel and embed we will from move tool we will move this to where and from transform control plus T in keyboard and use perspective just do this okay just copy it with pressing alt and move tool just move it to here and now again use transform control plus T and adjust sorry 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 control plus z oops now perspective now adjust this and also in this we will use scale and 
and then we will make it some uh, adjustment okay then press ok and once more copy it with alt and move it here and in the at this time we will do transform and in transform we'll use perspective perspective and then you will use scale same as that layer okay we have done here okay we will little bit we will do one thing here from perspective from perspective we'll make it a smaller here no not that much okay okay now what we are going to do is use in this second layer nothing is applied here just make this visible visible invisible oh sorry and this visible and in this layer we will do filtration from this filter go to blur and then radial blur here we will have some adjustments keep it around 50 or 50 whatever this is good and in zoom blur method zoom quality good or best whatever you use i'm using best and this is the blur center where you want to make its center of this blurring i am keeping it to here just you also should keep it to here because if you will use another center it will not make such good effect just click ok it is taking time for filter rendering according to the performance of computer is completed now our blur is completed now what we'll do is just select that and move it here and then control oh no sorry alt and again move it there this time we will use transform control plus t and perspective okay okay and again alt and move it here and again alt move it here again alt move it here again alt we want here and control plus t make sorry 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 control plus z uh con transform perspective and make it shorter and then okay from alt make copies of this and also move it to here we have really interesting job whatever we did with this was copying and we have many copies with of that rendering or blur what we that not rendering radial blur all these are the copies of that and now what i am going to do make it visible and also make this visible our effect is ready just go to fit to the screen control plus zero 
Now you really can't imagine we have created such a good effect. Just crop this. Oh. to here and from this side to here and away crop it if your image is too wide else no need of cropping we have done this this was our effect we can do one thing more if you wish then only just I'm going to show you that effect from laser tool select this region shift F6 give radio filler to 30% pixels ok now just go to exposure and adjust its exposure and also offset you can adjust this too according to your this okay uh, just thank you and subscribe my channel for getting more interesting videos thank you very much